still trying to figure out the whole YouTube game, though. Like, yeah. that seems like apparently all the rules just changed, so I've been doing a lot of research on that. Download Tube, buddy. Yeah, it's I've great. heard. It's yes. Great. Um, yeah, just so much it's navigating like the YouTube world. Or something like that. Man, anything like that's totally worth it if it's going to make, like, when you think about the amount of headaches and, like, pain you're going to suffer through just, like, trying to do all the research around these things. Yeah, yeah. What are you that, Tube, buddy? What's that? It's, like, for your optimization for searching and, like, all that sort of stuff and like giving you stats on your videos I do believe other videos as well target videos for you to pop up into the related on the side and all that stuff I guess so yeah I mean with Jason's video for Shy we like went in on it and like really tried it out well I landed it on this YouTube blog called Chill Tracks okay and we were like I know that how that's a YouTube channel yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was Chill Tracks. It usually has the Golden State Bridge behind it. Like, yeah, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Straight up. So then we, uh, we were trying to make it so, like, the actual music video would come up on the side when you were on Chill Tracks yes. to drive traffic to his channel, yeah. get him subscribers and stuff. And then we actually ended up doing it just by, like, all, all the underlining tags and all that. It'll show you all the tags on other videos, too. I can actually see now. So you can go to a popular I've, video. I've gone to videos and seen that people will put Neon Dreams in their tags, like, trying to target ours. Like, yeah. you can go see anybody's tags and stuff like that with it. Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah. People, well, honestly, I found out, starting out DJing, I found out about a lot of DJs on Facebook within the first two or three years, because that's when Facebook started to run mm-hmm. ads, and then yeah. a couple cats found out, and they were like, if you like Dead Mouse and this yeah, and yeah. this and this, and you you'll to totally like this. Like, and then I was like, well, I like those things. So I looked and it turned out I did like the guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, I, I, I felt like that was like a viable way to get followers there for a bit was like almost drop name tag dropping, you know? Totally. Like, I mean, everybody does it. Well, because like, I guess like in a way you just like look big. Okay, well, what do the fucking chain I mean, smokers we, we and do it. Post Malone do? Yeah, to get good video views and stuff. So if you can look up their tags, you can almost emulate them. Yeah, yeah I've gone on to like some major artists to see what their channel tags are. And yeah. a lot of them are like other major artists that yeah. are similar to them. Diplo. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm pretty sure the Chainsmokers YouTube channel, when you go onto it, like there are other tags that are like Diplo, Skrillex, Zed. Yeah, straight up. Like, that. like that's yeah. what you want. Man. Um, I think... I'm not positive. Yeah, but no, we're... There, but there, like, there's yeah, definitely... Yeah, two buddy plug. We're just trying to explain it yeah, briefly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. But I definitely have gone onto some people's pages, and it's like, you're definitely targeting other artists. Yeah, my, uh, Simon, Simon mentioned that, to actually, yeah. Yeah. Have you, uh, he's, uh, rocking a, a Garrison Hill project right now. He's released, like, three tracks since he dropped it, and it's been, like, it's only, like, a month old. Pretty so, shout out, uh, Simon Henley, a.k.a. Yeah. Garrison Hill. Simon's a smart ass cat, helps yeah. me with everything whenever the boys are in his neck of the woods, he seems to come through. Yeah, so yeah. Totally. he's fucking wizard kid for real. Uh-huh. Um PI's a nice place, man, I must yeah. say. Yeah, he is great. Two times we played there. Man, they fucking got a great great man. festival this summer in PEI. Oh yeah? It's like X Ambassadors and What's G- it called? Cheat Codes, uh T Pain. Um T Pain's gonna come up again. Yeah, he's gonna come around. I forget what's called, but the lineup's actually like deadly. That's sick. Yeah, I was like, I thought you, you know, like I was like, you're not talking about Cavendish. No, no, no. Shared Cavendish. I mean, uh, that's cool, but just some, just something different. I'm trying to remember the name of the festival. Interesting. Yeah, X Ambassadors, T Pain, Cheat Codes, DJ Jazzy Jeff, Two Hours Traffic. Jazzy Jeff. Yeah. Woo woo! Fresh brains getting thrown out of Uncle Phil's house all the time. Love it. Um, wow. I was like, Is this just done by, like, the government? The PM? No, I think it's some promoter there, but I was, like, crazy. They used to have a really cool festival there, and I played it once with um, Classified's brother, Mike. I used right. to play drums for him. And cool. Then, and Classified would be on the shows, too. Mm. We played it, and, like, the Killers were playing. What? It was in PEI. It was, like, yeah. The Killers. Matt Mays, The Killers. Man, Matt Mays is Classified. everywhere. It was just crazy. Yeah, Matt Mays is everywhere. You're so used to uh, everywhere. Yo, that's totally a Sackville thing, eh? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, Nick says it all the time. Yeah. And, like, me and his girlfriend would make fun of him for it for a bit. That's and, funny. like, now, she, now, now you're saying it. Yeah. And <laughs> I was like, I heard you say it a couple times a day. And I was like, everywhere? So I was like, that's, that's, yeah. that's totally a Sackville thing. Um, you used to play drums for Rhea, too, hey? Rhea May? Like, once or twice, yeah. Okay, so that wasn't a, a shitload. You weren't torn with her or nothing like that? No, no, no. Just no. a few shows. I, I actually, there's a funny story about that. I played drums for 
first show in I think it was like 2014. Like mm. Close Off just came out. I'm right. pretty sure. That was a great song. Yeah. You guys did a remix that, didn't you? Yeah. Cool. I I still play that. Oh really? Yeah. I fuck with it. Yeah. Um, so I played drums for her and I slept through her sound check. No. Yeah. And I don't think I ever played drums for her again after well, that. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I slept through her sound check because I, I, <laughs> I was still working at the time. I got off work. Oh, Adrian. I went to go take a quick power nap and I slept straight through her sound check. And then when we got to the show, her and the rest of the band like drenched me in water guns. Yeah. And then when we just did that whole tour with her. Well deserved drench. Yeah. When we just did that whole tour with her. It came up a couple times about the fact that I slept through a sound check. I'd say it did come up. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Oh, it's funny. That's another person from Halifax that's like, killed it. Killing it. Rhea. Killing it. Rhea. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. Who else is doing anything out of Halifax right now? Who's that? Uh, he's at a PEI. Yeah, Ramsoy? Yeah. Ramsoy? That's, right. is that the, that's yeah, his name, yeah. right? I don't know him, but yeah, I don't know him either. I just seen his, seen his videos. He's an interesting cat. Yeah. Like, there's another person out of Halifax that I never heard of until someone showed me the other day. Her name's Waves, or okay. Waves, but it's like spelt Waves. I seen that. She has a song with Iggy Azalea. Like, like what the fuck? It's like what people just in the woods uh, coming yeah, out of nowhere. Yeah, like, yeah. she signed to Universal Germany, I think, or something like that. From Halifax. Yeah. I don't, like, I don't know her, but is that a hack? This, I wonder. The song, like, the song is awesome. I'm from Newfoundland. I'm yeah. gonna get signed by Universal <laughs> fucking goddamn Paris. Well, I mean, you can get signed wherever, you know. Yeah, that's interesting. It's like Famba having that huge track on Sony Norway. Man, Famba out of nowhere. Like I knew he was on the come up. Like, and I knew he was coming, but like all of a sudden, I, I didn't know. Yeah. And then I was just like, and Famba song, blah blah blah. Yeah. Up next, and then I was like, wait, Famba's on the radio, and then I got hit with a couple. Swear to God's number 10 right now. Yeah, I got hit with a couple YouTube and Instagram ads about it, and I was like, oh, shit, I'm, I, this, <laughs> this is the same dude. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, he's killing it. Yeah, man, yeah. fucking A. Like, yeah. the dude has, he just dedicated, like, yeah. straight up. He's like, yeah. we bugs, man. Like, yeah. I remember when I was up there, so like, talented. dude, his house tracks are so dope. Like, yeah. that's the type of stuff I want to play in the bar, like, yeah. when I'm trying to build a floor. Like, yeah. you know, it's just like... It's like I call it friendly house because it's like mm. nice to dance to. It's not too yeah. abrasive. It's yeah. not too this. It's not too that. It's like yeah. just fucking hits it. Uh, hits the spot, Absolutely. you know. Yeah. Um, writing wise, these days, um, like actually, you called me yesterday because he's on some of that tour. I totally forgot he's coming right. on some of those dates. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I, I, I had no idea. And he called me. He's like, "Hey man, we're going on tour." I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Fucking a. <laughs> um, yeah, writing wise these days. So you're saying like Frank does a lot of demos and stuff, but yep. do, do you do how much writing are you doing in that regard? Are you just kind of doing production and helping no, write? Like, does Frank I, I start it all and then you just build on it? Or Frank is like, have you been starting many ideas like most yourself? Most of the lyrics are all Frank. And yeah. And then, like, if not now, when it started out as like we wanted to have a drum groove mm. that sounded like always by Blink. Yeah. So then I, I made some drum loop and sent it to Frank. I yeah. was like, Try this. Is this the vibe that we're going for? And yeah. then the next day, he sent me back chords for it. And then I was like, okay, let's do it. And then, Sick. Um, and then, I mean, it's always different. The approach is yeah, always, always completely different. different. Cool. You know I mean? And you're not doing any singing on this album? Not yet? Because you're trying to figure out this this I vocal did, run. I did, but a, I did a couple background yeah. parts. But I thought I heard you in there somewhere. I was like, what about mm. you? Yeah, I was like, I think I heard you. It's, it's mostly like group vocal stuff yeah like anything that's like a group chant and stuff well like i here, find it's hard to me. um it's hard to tell when there's people who've been working together for such a long time mm. so for example like back in the day with children of eve who you were filming, filming yeah, yeah. with uh band in newfoundland shout out children of eve yeah. um and then reside in halifax for a while so we both grew up on them it's slightly different time period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a couple days apart really yeah. it's like they left here and you discovered them essentially then yeah, yeah. um but Logan and Joel, um, and they were doing both the vocals. Joel's doing the main, and then Logan's doing backup along with some of the other guys. But Logan and Joel had played in the bands around here for so long that they started sounding alike. Like I couldn't uh, tell yeah. the difference on tracks. Uh -huh. And obviously, Joel's like the main singer there, but the fact, like, it just, I find when vocalists mm -hmm. sing together, they really start to like sound a lot alike. Yeah. And so when I heard that, when I thought it was you, I was like, it sounds like Adrian, but it could easily just be like Frank doing backups, and you guys are used to like, I, I know at the very least you're writing together, so he's probably. Honestly, most of the backups are actually like a bunch of different people. Like Eli Elias, who produced or co-produced Fantasy. Right. 
He did some of the backing vocals on Fantasy. Okay, so you guys just got our people in here and there, like whoever's yeah, around. You're like, yeah, it's gang vocals. Working let's, on the track. Yeah, let's, let's like, do let's it. Just do it. Yeah, you know? like, might as well. On We Were Kings, it's Scott Effman doing all the backing cool. vocals on that. Cool. Sick. Yeah. Um, I seen Frank was doing a little work with that guy from three oh eight. Oh, Nat. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. He's wicked. Uh, Super nice dude. That seems dope. He's so he's just like they're not really doing that group anymore. He's just producing and like no, working no, with just, artists. They or? just did Warp Tour. They did the last Warp Tour. Really? They also did an emo night tour. So that, yeah. but that's the type of shit they're playing. They're they're playing like emo oh, emo stuff. Yeah. Huh. And that, I mean that was, that was their, like they did a tour with Little Aaron. I know, but like back in the day when I found out they were like kind of DJing, they were like a DJ group. No, there were always like two vocalists. What? Yeah. Dude, they were totally doing party rock, LMFAO type tracks. Like, yeah, totally. But okay, but, but weren't necessarily DJ. No, they, they were just like vocals, like, right? And doing like, like a party rock style. Rap stuff. Kind of. It was hilarious. And Nat told me he was like a big fan of Buck sixty five. Fuck yeah, Buck sixty five like, is what? a gangster. How did how do you know Buck sixty five? Like, that's sick. He's from Colorado, but he's like, I guess he's like an old school hip hop head, right? Yeah, so. and he's like, boom. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of old school hip hop heads hanging out. In yeah, Atlanta, he's Canada. the nicest dude. And he's super funny. He's so funny. That's sick. That's dope. I, I seen Frank work with him. I was like, why does this guy look familiar? And I was like trying to figure it out and I realized it's like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. And I've, I've heard some stuff. Well, like he the... shaved my mind. That was one of the tracks that we put out with him. Dope. Yeah. Cool. Nat, Nat produced that one. I mean, Corey produced it. Fuck yeah. Shout out Nat. Sorry, I thought you were a DJ, bro. <laughs> um, I fucked it up. But anyways, that's dope. Yeah. That's sick. Um, fuck yeah, Adrian. Thanks, uh, yeah. thanks for coming on, man. Dude, thanks for having me. Glad to see you again. I love it. Here every fucking George Street Festival. So. Yeah. Fucking A. Sick. Cool. That's a that's a wrap. Cool.